What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, I am doing race 6 for the Goodyear 400. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This weekend, we're at Darlington International Speedway for the Goodyear 400 on the mile and a half circuit, and the first time of two trips that we are taking here at Darlington National Speedway as the Rebel 400, which is now the Goodyear 400, but the Rebel 400 is officially returned to NASCAR as we have now two official races at Darlington. We're here for the first time this year, and this is also now known as the throwback race as well. So there have been a lot of throwback paint schemes as well. We're also running the 750 horsepower package this weekend, so you're going to have to have a lot of driver talent, and you're going to see a lot of people probably running that wall and a lot of great racing for sure. Expect to hear at Darlington with it, of course, being the 750 horsepower package as well. So anyway, let's just go ahead and jump straight. But before that, let's actually take a look at the weather for this weekend right now. So right now, looking at the weather, I know it's Monday, Tuesday when I'm currently filming this right now. But actually taking a look at the weather for this weekend, there actually right now is a 0% chance of rain with partly cloudy skies throughout the gate day again things can basically change throughout the week and the weather can definitely change but right now looking at that weather forecast throughout the entire week the weather is looking really really promising so anyway let's just jump straight and pick so for those of you who are new to the channel so you've had a lot of new fans come to the channel thank you for subscribing by the way i do picks kind of similar to the nascar weekly podcast i do a suck pick a driver that that usually runs up front who's or has been really really good this year who's going to have a really bad run, an underdog pick, a driver that doesn't always run up front, who's going to have a very strong run, and a driver I think is going to win the race over the weekend. And then I usually choose about four drivers you need to keep your eye on for this weekend as well that could tend against a guy who I'm picking to win the race. So, anyway, let's go and jump in pick. So, who is my suck pick for this weekend here at Darlington International Speedway? This driver has had arguably the best season of his NASCAR Cup Series career of one win so far in 2021 and four top 10 start this year and currently sits 13 defender points and he's coming off of a 13th place finish at Kansas International Speedway. That being said, I looked at this guy's average finish here at Darlington National Speedway and his best finish here I think he was 13th and he has not had a really contended here at Darlington. His best finish, his average finish is a 28th place average finish. This driver, like I said, has had the best season of his career but I think that he is going to struggle here at Darlington. My suck pick is going to be Michael McDowell. Like I mentioned, Michael McDowell has not been really great here at Darlington National Speedway. And I think he is going to struggle throughout the weekend. I think he'll be lucky to get in the top 20, to be honest with you. Unless he can end up riding that wall because I think the ball is going to matter during the week. I think he's going to struggle this weekend. I think Michael McDowell will suck this weekend here at Darlington International Speedway. Now let's jump into the underdog pick. Who is my underdog pick for this weekend's race at Darlington? This is a track that this guy really, really suits him. The mile and a half for this guy have been really, really strong. He was really solid at Homestead Miami Speedway, and he was really, really solid at um, Kansas Speedway as well, ended up finishing seventh and finishing the top ten with the high line basing mill to come in. He looked really strong early in the race last time. And this guy has a 13th or 14th place average finish historically, and his first time he went here at Daunton in the Cup Series, he actually ended up finishing seventh in his first time here in the Cup Series. My underdog pick is going to be Tyler Reddick. I think, like I mentioned, the wall is going to matter, and the guys that can run the wall the best, I think are going to be the strongest throughout the race. That's why I think Tyler Reddick is going to be very, very strong this weekend. I think he has a very, very good shot for a top five this weekend, if not a chance to win. But I think absolutely Tyler Reddick has a very good shot of getting a top five and backing up a really strong run. He hasn't been that great this year, to be honest with you, but I think that he's going to turn it around starting this week, and he'll have a good shot of at least getting a top five this weekend here at Darlington International Speedway. And now we're going to jump onto the winner's pick for this weekend's race at Darlington. Who is my pick for the throwback race? So this guy has kind of been in the middle this year. He's been kind of running around the 6th to 10th place. And honestly, he should have a win this year, but he's really, in my opinion, hasn't really had that big moment. But I've actually taken a look at this guy's stats coming into for the first 10 races. And this guy in two only has won two races in his career in the first 10 races. That being in 2019 at Talladega and in 2020 at Charlotte at the second time we were Charlotte for the Charlotte doubleheader. My pick this weekend has barely should have honestly won at least for sure the last two races here at Darton, the second race in 2020, the double when they ran twice to the doubleheader, and then in 2020 in the Southern 500 when he basically lost the race to basically lost the race by getting into the outside wall and having to come down pit road. My winner's pick is going to be Chase Elliott. I look at the stretch of the next couple weeks, and Chase Lee has a lot of races where I think he can win. He's very, very good here at Darlington National Speedway. He honestly probably should have won the last time. Or actually, like I said, the last few times 
we've been here, but he's had some bad luck really come his way, or he's made some mistakes laying the races. But I think that finally, after kind of being in that little 6 to 10 range most of the year, I think that Chase Light is finally going to break through, and he is going to become the 11th driver to win this year in 2021 and make that points gap for the guys that are kind of close to that bubble really, really scary, and desperation is going to start setting in. I think Chase Elliott becomes the 11th winner in 2021. So now we're going to jump into the ones that you need to watch out for for this weekend's race at Darlington National Speedway. Who are my drivers that I'm also watching out for this weekend? So the first driver is going to be Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson has two key things coming this weekend. One, the mile and a half program. Actually, it's really a mile and a half, but it's close to mile and a half track. One, Kyle Larson has been really, really strong on their intermediates this year. He honestly should have won the last race with the last time we raced at Kansas. He also has been really good on the intermediate tracks. He won at Las Vegas, and he's been really good here at Darts, and he dominated this race in 2018. He looked really strong in 2019 as well, and he's been really good here at Darts, and even throughout his career since the beginning. I think Kyle Larson's going to have a lot of speed, plus Hendrick, Hendrick cars generally are really, really faster at Darlington. So I do think that Kyle Larson is going to have a shot of contending for the win, and I think he at least for sure gets top five this weekend at Darlington. The second one you need to watch out for is going to be Martin Truex Jr. I believe Martin Truex Jr. has two Southern 500 wins, or only, I think he has one or two Southern 500 wins, if I'm not mistaken. He won, I think, for sure in 2016. I can't remember what other race he won here at Darlington. But he's been really, really good here at Darlington historically. He was in contention last time. Again, he and Chase Elliott in a race had an issue going, basically coming into turn number one, where they had some content late. He had a dominant card pretty much most of that evening. He's been really close to winning at Darlington multiple times. I actually think he only has one win. But I think at March Jr. definitely has a shot at least getting second win. Plus, Martin Truex Jr. has been absolutely consistent this year. I think Martin Truex Jr. definitely will be contender this weekend at Darlington. The third driver you need to watch out for for this weekend is going to be a driver that has won the Southern 500 two times. Actually, he's won here at Darlington three times in the Cup Series. Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin's been really, really good here at Darlington. And throughout the, most of the year, except the last couple of races, in all honesty, Denny Hamlin has basically been kind of quiet the last couple of weeks. And well, he got into running second, having an issue. He's had a couple of issues the last couple of weeks where he was really strong to start a year. Then he's kind of had a last couple of races, had not been as great. But I think that this weekend, Denny Hamlin's going to bounce back and have a really good shot at at least finishing the top five here at Darlington. And a final driver that you need to watch out for for this weekend's race at Darlington is going to be Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch is coming off in a win at Kansas, and a lot of times when you win, you start seeing a lot of momentum from that driver. And not only that, Kyle Busch is also, like Kyle Larson, been the strongest on the intermediate tracks this year, and he's been really, really fast on those intermediate tracks. And Kyle Busch, historically, is really, really solid here at Darlington. Like I mentioned, he won the Southern 500 in 2008, and I think Kyle Busch is definitely going to have a shot, at least for sure, of being a contender this weekend here at Darlington International Speedway. Just a reminder, suck pick is going to be Michael McDowell. Underdog is going to be Tyler Reddick. And my winner's pick here for Darlington is going to be Chase Elliott. So, anyway, those are going to be my race picks for the Goodyear 400 at Darlington International Speedway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Perfect on see me notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And support my Patreon as well. Link description below for that. And comment with your thoughts. And let me know your picks in the comments below. Let me know your suck pick. Let me know your underdog pick. And let me know your winner's pick in the comments below. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great and awesome NASCAR content. Tomorrow, we've got the next-gen car coming out, and I'm definitely really excited to recap on what we get to see from the next-gen car. I cannot wait to tell you guys about that, but anyway, thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great and awesome NASCAR content. Take care, everybody.